think we can end this. I say we jump now! Suicide mission. The boy who lived. Come to die. Expecto for fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love this shit. Expecto? But whatever, I'm trying to just make something out of it, alright? Don't ruin my high right now. Yeah, but you see, that's not actually a spell. <laughs> <laughs> my you know, problem with you, it is you, that you, no, you laugh at man, but I was I was uh <laughs> <laughs> my, my friend has these, these, these two kids and they're boys and they're black and they were talking just like this all about correcting each other on the spells of Harry Potter are you serious? <laughs> yeah oh, God. And, and the white people's plan comes to <laughs> Voldemort <laughs> is white people <laughs> <laughs> was like, I mean I know I'm into a lot of geeky shit but I was just like my mouth was on the floor I looked over at her and she just had this look like don't say nothing. Yeah, don't ask. Don't, oh, do this God. Yeah, how come somebody doesn't make about a, like make a documentary about that? Like the, the the horrible things Harry Potter can actually do to your child. <laughs> you <know? laughs> hey man, like, like make him get his ass kicked every day at school. Hey, look, let me tell you something. It ain't none that a Jedi hasn't done yet. <laughs> 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 okay. And they got that ground covered. That's and, true. And you know what? You you write about that because I was talking to. I will let her uh, remain nameless, but I was talking to somebody who's on the site, uh-huh. and I joked about uh, <coughs> Harry Potter. I said, uh, "Yeah, expecto petroleum," and she's like, oh, "Petroleum? You don't even know how to say it." I'm like, "Fuck off!" I'm like, <laughs> well, you know, she said, she said, she said, "Expecto a better joko." <laughs> <laughs> Boy, hey, she, fuck you, man. <laughs> she, she was right, though. You know, that's not actually a spell, so you got to give that to her. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, all right, all right. You know, I don't want to piss off the, 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 the Potter files. Because I, I do love this shit, man. I, 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 I was so right, happy for you tonight. Man, I, I, I was really in there and I was tearing up in this movie, not just because of all of the emotional resonance and all the heavy hitting, you know, uh, uh, deaths that were happening in the movie. But, but also, because you're a pussy? But, uh, <laughs> you know what? For Potter, yes. I know. I, was, I brought, my, my friend that brought with me, I was like, hey, man, were you crying? He's like, no, but your buddy Corey was bawling. <laughs> no, you know what? I heard him over there. Hey, I, I, it's that time. Of course, he's a little bloated right I, now. I, you know what? I, I really wasn't crying that hard, but I, I was. <laughs> not, that not that hard. hard. <laughs> no, you know, I, I kept it to myself. Teeny, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the moment the, the predator come in, them, them panties drop on your ass. Don't you say what I mean? <laughs> Batman that is, for you. That, that is true. <laughs> and every goddamn comfort character for you, sir. So y'all leave me alone no, about this. I, I will be, have my moment, that damn it. I will be because, crying man, at the I end of Batman. This, and I was just kind of like, you know, I got nothing bad to say about this shit. Everything. You know, this is as far as a, a summer blockbuster goes. This is a fucking perfect movie for me. Well, it was a it. hell of a great capper to a, a you know spectacularly long series. It's amazing they kept audiences attention for eight movies. Really, yeah. Uh, no you know, shit. a hell of a job. Yeah. What a, what a great way of bringing resonance to all these characters at the end. I mean, uh, Coach, you said you didn't like the last one. I did because no. I already really liked these characters and I knew what it was setting up for. Like this is our last moments of peace before, well people start dropping like flies out of the mm-hmm. cast so you're like okay yeah. let's all give each other big hugs and enjoy and them now because <laughs> it's not gonna last uh, and this is where that happens this is that movie where you're like alright time to say goodbye to quite a few of your favorite characters yeah <laughs> and you know shocking enough maybe it was a good idea that they saved all this for last because honestly I'll let you know right now I liked it what I did. Yeah. What, 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 oh, whoa, 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 you, you know what? Stop you ain't the presses. He ain't telling me none. I didn't know already. We were talking about <laughs> know, we were. every time we get now. Let, let me see. Let me let me tell you something. See if y'all notice. Every time we get ready to start, like we did a preview last time. We are doing this review now. I think even last time we re- we reviewed the last movie. Every time we get ready to start recording, before I press that button, co-host is over there whistling the Harry Potter theme. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And I have no fucking idea why that's been happening lately, but it just has. I think somebody cast a spell on my ass or something. <laughs> To sing that guy to, to whistle that stupid ass do 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 I, I can't even do it now. Wait here, let me do. It. You see, you choking up right now yourself. You can't. I, I, I fucked it up <laughs> because that, that mic gets in your hand, and all you know is how to say like a Pavlov dog is like, I hate these movies. They, 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 they're stupid. They make no sense. And he's sitting there watching, and you're like, Oh, Harry. Now see when you when you talking, he can do it. But you yeah. put the spotlight on, he can't do it. <laughs> He's floating right now. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I think I'm. The thing is, I always feel like there's something missing, especially now the the last few Harry Potter movies. You don't you don't hear that music at the opening anymore. It's more like. Uh, 
well, yeah. bad shit's well, happening. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's, it, it ain't happy times no more. This shit no. got real. For the, long, for the first like four movies or so, it was. It was like kind of like, well, there's a lot of shit happening, but come on, they're wizard school. How awesome is that? Uh, yeah. And then yeah. from that on, it's been like, nah, dude, we can't be all. You know, no, every once in a while, one the, note. a little bit of leap motif just to remind you. Darth Vader takes over the symphony. You're like, hey. It's like you playing that shit on piano. I'll be like, ding, 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 ding. Somebody just slams a lid on your finger. Oh, <laughs> 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 Passion is happening. <laughs> Keyboard cat comes in. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> cat lands on your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, 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 you're right. David Yates is totally justified for splitting this up in two parts. I can understand. I see. Now, why he now, wanted to now, say now you get it. everything for this last movie. But it's shocking. It, well, it's shocking, to, uh, shocking to me only because I was not a fan of that last of the last film. I thought the last film was slow. It, it just didn't hold my interest. It dragged on where this one completely didn't. It almost seemed like a whole entirely new director took this over and gave it everything that I honestly wanted the last movie to have. Uh, that was completely utterly shocking to me because there, there's not a moment in this movie where I'm actually like going alright let's fucking end this already you know, not it, a it, single it, moment the problem is, is that I think the whole thing was originally conceived as one film and then they went fuck it let's just do it as two and go ahead and stretch it out longer and when you look at it as that way as just one well, that's what film it's could, like yeah. not a whole film that's slow it's the first half of a film building up to the second half being a big battle yeah it could be a, a flaw Yes, in marketing that the, they, yeah. they, they they made the first movie on you know as as part one in one film, but if you watch them together, you do realize like okay, this is one film, and it's like, well, it's a lot. I have no that, problem with that. It's a lot to tell an audience, especially someone like the co-host. Like, hey, I want you to sit down and watch Harry Potter for five hours. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I got to take that's, shit. That's there's, there's, there's no uh, you know there's no other choice. You had to do it. Um, and for me, what is that, that problem at pacing, it, it, I mean, David Yates, he's just kind of hamstrung by the book because the book is written that way. Yeah. I, I, you know, I felt the same way like through, for the, through the first half of it. When they're out camping forever and getting on each other's <laughs> nerves, I was like, oh, my God, is this ever going to end? Honestly, in the, in the movie, it, it moves along a lot faster than it does in the book. <laughs> it's a pretty fast <laughs> clip. Yeah, because yeah. you're like, the end of the last book is so cliffhanger. You're like, yeah! yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then this, you're like... Yeah, you know that whole thing that happened at the end of the last book? We'll get around to doing more with that. But first, <laughs> let's go buy some camping gear. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, it's funny because I was thinking, you know, I didn't even need to see that last movie. If I skipped that last movie... I don't think anything would have been no, like you're, you're wrong. lingering in I, my I, head. I know yeah. it seems like that, but it was a lot of information that got delivered to you with the first, with that that first, with the last movie. Well, the thing is, I don't remember any that. of it though. That's yeah. the, you, you I, think you you think you don't, but you would have been sitting in this one going, "Wait, what now?" Now there were still things, that even so, that were like referring to stuff that happened in much earlier movies that I'm like. Okay, I don't remember this at all. I mean, they're trying to show you just through visual montages that occasionally happen throughout the film. Yes, and remember when this happened? Remember no. back in Harry Potter <laughs> yeah. episode I'll two. Take your word for it. <laughs> they, 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 they know modern audiences. It's like, yeah, yeah you're in a the theater now, but basically. It, it, in six months, you're going to buy all of these if you don't have them already, and you're going to sit down and have a Harry Potter viewing party. And it's gonna funny find that you, you should dead say that. In your yeah. chair. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. funny it's that you should say that because cat. Harry Potter is now available on Blu ray <laughs> in the entire collection <laughs> at the fingertips of your wand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm there with you, man. Can I tell you what happened two movies ago? No. I'm not going to even lie. Not, not in even... the details. Yeah. There's so much stuff that was happening, which I'm almost glad. That's one of the reasons you're glad this was split into two films, because this was the biggest, most dense book. And it was like, well, Jesus Christ, man. I'm so glad they, they decided to take their time and, and, and go, all right, all right, let's spread this out. I mean, yeah, was there too many scenes that you're like, okay, I don't remember specifically what that is, but it's not hurting my enjoyment of this story to not remember all the details. Well, either. what they what they managed to build up the final conflict, and that's what the movie centered on. Yeah. I mean, because I can tell you, right now i i don't know i can't tell you the whole lore of things all i know is like voldemort uh, comes in and she puts his shit down yeah but yeah if voldemort <laughs> comes in he's going he's threatening to destroy everything and harry potter said i'm tired of this shit <laughs> you know and that's it he's like this is it it ends here the and, line must be drawn here yeah and then there's a bunch of lights and special effects and people pointing wands at each other and blowing up shit and i'm like all right you know what that's the summer fair part of it i'm like that's the blockbuster side of things and all of it it is amazing to watch because I've always admired this series for being able to like have your special effects 
play secondhand to the drama and the actors that were supposed to be the important part of this. I mean, it's a, it's a heavy story that they want to tell. And this does the same thing. I mean, this is probably the for me. I mean, again, again, this come from the guy who can't remember like three movies ago. But it seems like this is probably the most effects written film of all of them and yeah. it blends in seamlessly with the drama that's occurring and like, speaking of that I mean this is uh, I just thought it was amazing to see like when you see like Rupert Grimes and Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson as children you're like okay child actors Rupert Grant I mean Rupert Grant what, what else is Rupert Grimes uh, whatever, yeah. whatever you know he, he got a fucking medieval name himself <laughs> he got, like, that kid no wonder they hired him to be, he's got a wizard whoever name. the fuck that yeah. kid is yeah. <laughs> he's got a wizard name in real life <laughs> Rupert Grimes <laughs> and that motherfucker should be an elf somewhere uh, but <laughs> but he uh, but to see those kids grow up and be the actors that they are today. Now, I don't know if that's just because they're under a consistent director who knows how to work with them or if they've just grown up to be fine actors. But everybody in this movie is able to kept, capture like the emotion that's needed to deliver this story. Well, and, I, I and tell I'm amazed. you what, I, I couldn't have been more impressed with Daniel Radcliffe, who has become a really good actor. And yeah. I was just like looking at him going like, you know what? I don't know what the rest of these kids are doing, but I know, you know, when he's not making Harry Potter, he's on Broadway. He's really like trying to perfect his craft. And it shows because there's so much of the emotional content that is all on his shoulders. And he does it. Even when there's times when I feel like the film wasn't delivering on the, the emotional content it should. But when it would, it would focus on him, it was all in his face. Well, there's a sequence at the beginning of the third act. And I'm not going to give details about it on any level. But suffice it to say, it really falls on his shoulders to pull off an enormous emotional weight and in fact a uh, a reconstruction of the events of the entire series and him realizing that things are not how he thought they were uh and it's a tough world thing to pull off as an actor for anyone to do uh yeah. you know and he nails it he totally nails it i mean if i had one complaint i think that that sequence may it's at in the book, that's where it has to happen. In the movie, it's where it has to happen. But it feels weird in the structure of a t- traditional movie in between all this huge action to have about 15 minutes of very quiet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is that that quiet scene that you're, tell- that you're talking about, it, I actually enjoyed that. It, it didn't bother me, it, not even so much where it was in the film. But as far as his acting is concerned, yes. I mean, you're absolutely right. He nailed it. Uh, and, and, and it's the first time I've ever looked at Harry, the, the character, and found him... Interesting. Out of all the movies, I well, with the exception of three, uh, this is this is like the movie that made me interested in his character because I thought, man, it seemed like all the other characters seem more interesting to me. Even even Neville's character, which you know, thank God they gave him his due finally in this movie because yeah. all I hear was how Neville was supposed to be this badass, and in the last movie, uh, I was like. He he's like fucking hanging out on a train and doesn't say a word. I mean, what? what, what? They're, they're gonna fuck that up. I feel like they are, and, and at least what I've been told about this character from the books, I, I'm I was scared that they were gonna completely just not even touch on that at all. Yeah. But thank God, you know, I was wrong, and and they actually gave him his due. But uh, getting back to to uh, Daniel Radcliffe, is that yeah, his name? Yeah. yeah. He he really impressed me. Only uh, took him eight movies to like his character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, good job, Harry Potter guy. Yeah, because he, he, he's he's almost to me like a fly on the wall throughout the series. It seems like more interesting things were happening around him or because of him, and not so much. Uh, it, it, none of it really came from him, as far as like the the, the, the unraveling of the story. I felt like he was just there. Like I, 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 he almost looked at him as like. He was me, but I'm just not interested in, in, well, that, well, that, in, in I mean, what's going I, I on in this he world. He sort of functions that way as a cipher for the audience because you know I've heard that complaint before. But you know he's a character where everybody else who's at Hogwarts they've been told about it their whole lives since they were kids. They couldn't wait to go. You know, his your whole thing. You know, he grew up most of his life as the mistreated orphan. And like, wait, tell, turns out you're, you're going to be king of the world someday. Here you go. You're a wizard. Yeah. Harry. He's like, the hell? I'm, <laughs> well, maybe I, it's, I'm just trying to but, fit in here. I don't well, maybe it's because of this movie that fi- he finally has to do something. You, you know, you He finally up, has to participate I mean, in this whole series of reason, events that he, he has no choice but It's the to. reason why he's not afraid of, of Voldemort like everybody else. Where they're like, oh, don't say his name. He's like, fuck him. I'd say his name. <laughs> really? Voldemort? <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop that. What? Uh, Voldemort? No, yeah. Voldemort? Voldemort? Yeah. Voldemort? Yeah. Voldemort? Shit, Voldemort. I wish the motherfucker said, I'll say his name right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, is it, okay, now, now is it me? Because I go, yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's behind me, isn't he? <laughs> now, 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 okay, now, What's with your nose, motherfucker? <laughs> speaking of Voldemort right that? now, before I forget, speaking of Voldemort, I mean, I have to say, though, if there's one major complaint about this movie, I think in this one, they almost made Voldemort, to me, seem more like a non-threat. Like, almost like 
kind of a joke sometimes. Oh, I didn't feel that way at like, all. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. they, huh? I mean, I mean, not I, if you wanted his henchman, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? Which that thing is, it's like, oh man, this guy's like, this guy's almost like becoming like pussified in a weird way. And in order to let everyone know that, hey, I'm still the badass here, he randomly kills somebody that well, can I address you know, that? Didn't uh, deserve it. Ray Fines. Can we call him? What's he going with? Rafe? Ralph? You call him what? whatever you want. Yeah. 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 Just My call him Ralph. I'm going to call him Ralph. Yeah. yeah. Ralph. Ralph. That's how it's spelled. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Damn, you're, the, you're in America. You can call him Ralph. Yeah. Ralph Fines. I'll call him Roger. Yeah. Yeah. All that Rafe shit. You know, it was like it Norway. I mean, you know, uh, Ralph Fines, who I thought, the thing you're talking about, I, I, I enjoyed his acting as well as the character because he brought a certain vulnerability to Voldemort this time around, which makes sense in this film because this is the one where Harry Potter is actually becoming stronger, you know, facing what is has been his true fear and danger. And this is the one where Voldemort is starting to realize Voldemort. I'm losing power. I mean, Voldemort, whatever these fucking characters. <laughs> it's, it's actually Voldemort. Well, somebody oh, somebody get the series. <laughs> the name right. That's, well, you know what? It's. I mean, I, they even say early on, they're like, look, he's wounded. He's he's scared now. I mean, he's more dangerous than ever because of the fact that he's super desperate. He now has seen, like before, he was really confident. He's like, Harry Potter, come on. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter. And now he's like yeah. taking out some of his parts of his soul and he's starting yeah. to go, Fuck! In other which, words, which, which I well, which I understand. I understand that for the character, it's just maybe it was just his his acting. I don't know, man, because Vol- of, in this one, Vol- you know, this is the one where Voldemort is not a cocky son of a bitch anymore. Yeah. You know, he's actually scared, and it was necessary for him to seem weak because he was weakening. Yeah. Because if because like you look at him in Order of the Phoenix, he's so powerful. It's like. Harry doesn't have he doesn't stand a chance yeah, nobody right. stood, a, stood a chance but we've watched Harry get so much more powerful since yeah. then I mean where he is a full on wizard in his own right now I mean he is yeah. somebody not to be fucked with he's casually at one scene running through the castle while there's a war going on just taking down fucking like evil wizards with single blasts just show oh, get out of my way yeah. Zap, yeah. Zap. maybe, maybe it's like, just in the sense of the movie world where you I, I expect you know the the um, the villain to be just a powerful entity to where you know you're you're cheering on the hero to like you know yeah do your do your thing i mean because this is you know you guys are going toe to toe this is an epic battle you're both fighting until you know one of you is dead and and with this one i just i didn't feel so feel that much as far as like with the final battle like it, it really didn't like grab me as much but even though i still enjoyed it yeah but i just thought may, maybe maybe it was a, not so much the fault of the movies or even the book it's just that that's just how it well, is and it what? has less I, impact i can as far I, as villains that i like i can meet you part way because i don't want to be the the voldemort of this review like because while, while i like this movie a lot i thought it was really good and yet stopped short of being great and a lot of it was the way David Yates, you know, or just because he stuck by the book, rushed through a lot. Like, there's, there's deaths that I thought, man, you want to spend yes. some time with this. These characters would die. They were so beloved, and it was just like, well, there they are dead in the background. Let's, let's keep it well, going. Well, you know, as somebody, who hasn't, like, read, as somebody who hasn't read the books, that is something that I don't know ahead of time. Well, their their characters even in the movies were represented quite a bit. We're like, you know, wow, these are really cool characters. We've seen them grow. We've seen them form relationships with other people, even marriages and kids with some of them. And you're like, this is actually pretty heavy stuff. And the movie just is like almost pans across them dying. Mm -hmm. And you know, my biggest issue was that was not in in and of the fact that they did that. And there's another thing too with one of the characters who is like bad and then never really is redeemed, but by the end, you're they're just kind of like, oh, there they are. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. (laughs) You're like, wait, what happened there? I felt like we there was several instances in this film that we missed scenes. And hello, director's cut on Blu-ray. It's all that, that, it was, this well, movie was screaming director's cut. But I yeah, mean, Leon, was. you're absolutely right because after the movie, Leon and I were discussing this, and I told him this is this has always been my problem with this entire series, where these characters that they build up, you know, you follow through uh, these books and even the movies. At least with the movies, they never give you the emotional resonance that when when they when these characters die, they never give you the emotional resonance that you should have with them especially like like there's a few important characters that that you know yeah. that die in this but it, it does feel like they just kind of glossed over like the camera was like hey look over there look who died oh oh well that sucks you know time to move on no time to move to the next i scene. guess you know for some people I, I can see that 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 problem i mean i, I understand it uh you know a, a different viewpoint would be that they are in wartime and they just kind of have to keep moving. And they try to give you a feeling like these deaths are important, they, you know, by giving you some key characters. Uh, I won't say who, but they focus on like a couple of people. And, they, and they're, they're crying hard. People are, you know, falling apart. And 
uh, you know, for the pacing of the film, I can understand them wanting to keep going. It's, not not to belittle anybody's complaint on that. It's not right that they there. don't spend time mourning them. It's that they don't even show them dying in the first place. Like right. you feel like they deserve a hero's death, and you're not given that at yeah. all. Because you want like, you I, honestly totally off yeah, screen. You want it. You really because that's the thing with a movie like this, especially being the last one. You know, you want to feel like these characters died for a very good reason, a very noble reason, and you want to see them to the bitter end. You know, yeah. uh, especially like the characters who were here, obviously very important to the story and very important to this whole family of, of Perry Potter yeah um, and that's something that that was out of all the complaints I had about if I have any about this movie that is my major one but like I said it's been a complaint about this whole series uh, with, with the right, deaths I'll, I'll throw something else out there that won't be popular in this room uh oh I even though I like this movie a lot I like the, the last stop. one better just stop I know. Right now. no I'm, no no oh I, really I, I, I did I did you like what I like the, the, the movie before the, the last movie more than I like this one and what? It was, and, we, and I thought the, the the writing of the characters, like there was a lot of good dialogue between them, banter, things you learned about them, e- each of them, and you know it had more emotional content. I mean, yeah, it's got that slow part in the middle that I know, co-host, you you absolutely hate. Yes, and, and I understand. Um, Don't but, bring it. But, up. but beyond that, there was so much in what they were saying to each other that I really got into. Whereas with this movie, it's all plot. It's all we're moving to battle. We got to be here. We got to do this. Dialogue wise. There's very little in the way of things where I was like, oh, that's some clever writing on that. I mean, the stuff with, with uh, Dumbledore's brother I thought was awesome. And you get a good scene with Dumbledore later. But there wasn't – I don't know. There wasn't the, the dialogue exchanges that I would prefer. To, to counterpoint that, though, I, I honestly thought that um, th- a lot of the acting here – like I think the director spent a lot of time with these, with these actors and getting them to finally emote – something to where you didn't need a lot of dialogue uh, and, and, and for me I, I did notice that i was like wow you know it, it, through, through this first hour of the movie it seems like there's hardly there's not there's not that many rants as far as like uh, exposition when he's because you're seeing it all which i'm like good you know that's what a movie should do i mean we're largely should, already yeah. up to speed with the plot from Absolutely. the last movie yeah. and, yeah. It, and the, even the two before it we're like we've been told everything we need to know now's the time to watch it play out because like i said this is basically the second half of another movie and, and right. in this it's, half what 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 is it uh, like, see me, let me see if i got this right since things are happening so fast and i can't remember shit i know right I'm it's like, like need a cliff's notes to so, take we, with you. so we so the the the, the the biggest issue was destroying the Horcrux. Yeah, that, well, that was, well look, 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 there's seven of them. Was it, there seven? I, I, I want to say there was seven. I can't remember how many there were, but it's the kind of thing where, like, okay, like, say if I was going well, to. Let me, say, let me just say what it is for you. Let me see if I got it right. So okay. the Horcrux are pretty much the the basis for uh, Vol- Voldemort's power. Well, no. Uh, no. Okay, so you so know how he was, going on here he was defeated initially? Yeah. But the reason he wasn't just dead, dead was because he had, you know. He had taken precautions by taking his soul and splitting it up and imbuing part of his soul into all these different objects and hiding them. So he could not truly be destroyed because his soul was hidden in all these places. So, you know, they figured that out since in this point. They said, okay, the only way to really defeat him is to take all the find all the little pieces, which are the Horcruxes, and destroy each one. And then his soul really will be gone and he'll be gone. So so this film is like... The the it is the struggle to de- destroy the final Horcruxes that exist. Yeah, which and is for bring down Voldemort for once and for all. Once yeah. and for all, yeah. it's like like if you were to kill him without destroying all those, he's just going to come back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He'll he'll be weakened, but you can't destroy him unless you destroy those two. He knows. You know who? He knows we broke into Gringotts. He knows what we took, and he knows we're hunting Horcruxes. How is it you know? I saw him. You let him in. Harry, you can't do that. Hermione, I can't always help it. Well, maybe I can, I don't know. Never mind what happened. Well, he's angry and scared too. He knows if we find and destroy all the Horcruxes, we'll be able to kill him. I reckon he'll stop at nothing to make sure we don't find the rest. He's got I, a soul I, come out of his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how they Holding do it. Soul. Yeah. <laughs> so Corey, that's so what they yeah. would need. That's, that's soul the, power. Yeah. 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 That's why he's me. got the pet snakes. Like, reach up there and just go, go ahead, you get some soul. Yeah, get out. Oh, God. Oh, I never get used to that. <laughs> so, Corey, what, 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 what movie did you see? Because I'm now curious. Like, that was a whole, that was the whole plot it. of the movie where I got crucified on the last review because I didn't know what the fuck those things were. And I'm like, I, and I'm like, I know they're important, but still it's like. 
so what? You know? Well, you got you to appreciate the, for the fact that Corey's like, man, I love this movie. <laughs> I know, exactly. Exactly. Somebody, somebody tell me what it was about. <laughs> what was the crux of the story? I know. <laughs> I can recognize goodness when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, you know what? A little kid with nerd glasses and a magic wand. That's all I need. <laughs> I don't need to know every ingredient that went to this soup for me to enjoy. <laughs> Obviously, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. I know. <laughs> I like the pretty colors. Damn it. <laughs> Might need no. a little salt in there every now and then, but no. this shit is all right. Right. No, but the thing is, uh, with this, it's like that. That's the thing, though. Like, I, because well, honestly, I, I I did not know what the fuck was going on with those horcruxes or whatever. I, I knew once you know one was destroyed, Voldemort. But I, I I'm like. So we're going to go through the next few movies? Because I think with these movies, though, it's like they always present something new. Right. Like there's always something new in order to <laughs> defeat Voldemort or to weaken him or whatever. And I think that's where... there's magic shit all the, over the goddamn place. It's just yeah. lying on the ground. I, I know, and I know. And like, they, yeah, like uh, I, I think they found the last one at, at fucking uh, Fred, Sanf- Fred, Fred, Fred Sanford's place. You know? <laughs> where they had to like crawl over junk, which this movie, I, I honestly have to admit, I was like, wow, you know, uh, I, I know I heard the other day, like this movie borrows from Star Wars and you know just well, any great myths but general, yeah. you know I'm like you can add Indiana Jones because oh yeah honestly uh, uh, there's a part where I'm looking at I'm looking at Harry and I'm like going dude did you not watch Indiana the, the first Indiana Jones movie because you know it's about to happen oh, yeah. right come on yeah there's a point <laughs> yeah. where they go to find some treasure and they get somebody to guide them there and then they get stuck in a room <laughs> And that guy is still holding that treasure. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what they're going to say. Throw, throw me the whip. Yeah. Throw, throw me the whip. That's, that's all he was doing. Like, throw me the whip. <laughs> Don't do it. Just say this. <laughs> throw me the wand. Yeah, know. Uh, yeah. You know, it's kind of close to that. It yeah. don't work out right for them. Man, you know what? Uh, as the kids say today, uh, real talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say this much. I Maybe the reason why I love this so much is because I envy the, the like the children out there the the, the kids man the, the fucking kids you know the I, kids I, that are getting I, their ass beat every day <laughs> I, envy, I envy the children because they they have what our generation missed with, and I hate to keep bringing it there but oh, yeah, being able to it, zap man. some motherfuckers I'm gonna do, no, no, do it because oh, yeah. I had some people trying to come in here like in our last preview trying to come in and say you, shut your fucking mouth this is not the new Star Wars fuck you it is I think you, I, I think I was that guy that said that though. I'm telling you it is god damn it. well certainly uh, the, re- the sheer level of receipts and responses and the fact that adults and kids seem to be responding to it so strongly it's like you can say in your opinion it's not all you want but every other thing points at yes I'm afraid of I tell you what, you I, see I, these kids. I don't see no Harry Potter Clone Wars well, uh, cartoon. Yeah, well, right. Thank God for that too. You know what? Here's a deal. Uh-huh. You you saw people dressing up like Jedi's and characters from the movie. You see kids now going to Jesse screenings dressed up like they're going to Hogwarts. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the, the beauty of that is that you could go to a Harry Potter screening dressed like you, you know, one of the wizards. And if later you can walk out and somebody go like, "You want them Harry Potter faggots?" And you're like, "No, nah, man, I'm in a choir. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a Harlem boys choir, man. Now, yeah. now you should go beat up that fake Jedi over there. <laughs> yeah. Come here." Well, hey, as a nurse, hey, I'm, a, I'm a Freemason, motherfucker, and your whole yeah. family is dead. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the other thing is that uh, they, they, they got pretty much, I mean, yeah, you again, varying degrees of quality, depending on what you're looking for in the movies, but they pretty much got eight consistent films. They got an incredible you know, uh, end conclusion to the series, and they they have their whole mythology all out there now. They have their epic series out there. Mm. We have we had Lord of the Rings, and that and that's cool. And then you know, but Star Wars petered out on us. But these kids, they had like again consistent with actors and all that. I these kids out there have their Star Wars for their generation. Certainly, and, 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 I think they, of them. and, and yep. co-hosts, no Ewoks in this one. Yeah. I, I like the Ewoks, all right? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's been, it cannot be unsaid. Whatever. Whatever. Look, look, Corey, when you and I, when we go outside, we play make-believe tomorrow, all right? I'll let you, I'll let you ride on your broom while I fucking run your ass over with my Millennium Falcon, huh. and I'll be screaming. I'll like, go go to your mom's house and you sweep know, the room. That's true. You, you, know, you, 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 keep yeah. your, you keep your midichlorians in. <laughs> and I don't count those. Shit. I don't count those. Yeah, well, uh, they count, That's that uh, part of my series. Uh, 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 you know, my, no. My, my shit wasn't no. made up at the last no. minute. <laughs> My shit's consistent. Uh, you know, this ain't like the Bible where you can pick and choose what you want to believe. Right? Yes, you, I you can. Got, you got to believe it. You, in for a penny, in for a pound. You got to believe it all. <laughs> you know, Corey, though, as he said, he said he's jealous of the kids today because they're growing up with this as their Star Wars, and it really is in that sense. It's not for you because you're not a kid at the same level. You know, it's like I'm five nothing, years old. Nothing <laughs> will ever, yeah, nothing <laughs> will ever be for you the way Star Everything Wars. Everything is was for me, all right? Because yeah. you're not like, yeah, you're not five when you're saying it. 
it again. I mean, but that being said, said, I mean, like I, that being said, mm-hmm. you mentioned Lord of the Rings, and I prefer Lord of the Rings to the Harry Potter films. I mean, I think they're more consistently awesome all the way through, but they are for adults, hundred percent. This is definitely a product that was meant like seventy percent for kids. I, I, I would say that. I, I kind of see a lot of. Ble- I mean, you pretty much got the same creatures in both of them. Well, that's just, <laughs> and, 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 and the thing that's is, the point where they meet yeah. up. You, you're right, and the thing is, is that you know, Lord of the Rings, as far as you know, you say what you want about how great the Potter films are, but Lord of the Rings will always triumph over the just the visuals, just the look and the story. I mean, Lord of the Rings is first, and, and it's actually just it's done better. Like like those characters are great characters for a reason, and. We got two more movies coming, by the way. So, so they got I mean, yeah, the thing yeah. is, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if, those, if those two movies happen to be the biggest the flops ever, yeah. yeah, if those if those two movies happen to be the biggest flops ever, I mean, wow, Harry Potter better be worried because if God. those are two great films, Harry Potter's going to be forgotten. I mean, bro. I'm, no, I'm sorry. Terrible, I'm going to be in They're going to be, at least nuts. the movies. The I, movies. If, those, <laughs> if those prequels are terrible, I'm going to be like Jason Murphy for the first like couple years. I'll be like the denial guy. I'm like, no, man, they're, they're good. They're good. You know, I, I, I hate to even have to compare this to Lord of the Rings. This, I mean, both of them are, to, in my opinion, both of them are, are, are great series and quality. Hell I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They, no, they, I don't they disagree. Both, they both that. gave trolls and giant spiders a place to work. Shit, yeah. And, and nothing's wrong Shit, with that. It was a fucking troll that was chasing Hubbis and ended up in Hogwarts. He's like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Where am I? And, 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 yeah, and the other thing is, the giant thing, spiked yeah. elephants are still like, what the fuck? Really? No giant <laughs> yeah. spiked elephant work in the Potter series? It's eight movies! And you know, <laughs> like, talking about that shit, discussing like, what's, who, what's faster, the Enterprise or the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> I mean, I'm like, That's you know what, honestly, clearly the Enterprise. honestly, it's the Enterprise, obviously. I do not yeah. give a shit. That's a, I mean, I mean, because you know what? There's only one series that will blow all of these goddamn movies out of the goddamn water, and that is the Dark Knight trilogy. Thank you very much. So I'll well, we got one more. Got one more to go. yeah. It's but, already great. I already saw it. Don't no, worry. I, and, I, and, I, and I hate those fucking arguments from people. Yeah, saying, yeah. Oh, the Millennium Falcon's faster than the Enterprise. <laughs> that's stupid. Now the fucking brooms in Harry Potter are much faster. They ain't kind of sweet, uh, speed bike. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> All right. Quidditch is more excited than any oh kind of fucking. God. I'll let you had. play with your broom. I'll play with my ex. No, no, no. Right? They, they actually, he's right. They had him on Top Gear. <laughs> 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 well, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, you can have your broomstick and you can have that Nazi motorcycle with the side cart that flies around, all right? <laughs> you know what, man? For me, like, J.K. Rowling, woman has created, she, she and I, again, a lot of people look at me and say, you're fucking crazy, but she is sort of a modern day Tolkien now. She has created a series of books that are incredible. She, the movie series is based on all that's incredible. And I, I, you know, I'm just. I feel happy to have witnessed that with somebody who's still living right now and has made history this way. I mean, because I, I, I haven't read these books, but I do love this series, man. Uh, um, in conclusion here, in conclusion, I will, uh, I will just say that my biggest, I guess, I guess my biggest compliment to this film is that we're living in an age now where movies, studios can't seem to like accept that good stories and good direction and great acting and drama can exist in the same film with big budget special effects. For some reason, we got to separate those two. Transformers was like, you know, you either, it, it's like somebody just told Michael Bay, look, you can either have some good actors or some giant robots that look cool. Which one do you want? <laughs> well, it's called Transformers. I guess I got to go to shitty fi- uh, plot here and go with giant robots. Oh, please, like, as if, Michael Bay like took even a second to to ponder over that. Um, this, is, this is fantasy, right? Okay. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, come on. Continue, we'll, go, hey. we'll just go in the background. Yes. And I will say that I love this movie, ba- being able to combine the two, but not turning down any of the important elements of storytelling. Storytelling still exists. If we can still do it in the fall of a blockbuster summer movie, I'd give this movie full price. I give it some bullshit. Was nothing like the book. It definitely is a good movie. It's a great way to end this this series. Um and I liked it a lot. It just was less than perfect. I thought it could have been great and, and missed out on that. It, it comes in to me as a low full price. You looking at me like I'm on keep it simple. You're gonna go over there and bite him, is what you look like. You're about to, man. You look like you broke your matinee streak. I'm, I, I don't know what you're going. <laughs> Leon's hey. looking around like he's waiting for somebody to throw a wand you know, at him, <laughs> like, poke cool him in right the eye. Now. You gotta walk out to your car sometime tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting. 
<laughs> Don't worry, he's gonna dog. fuck up that spell. Oh, mean shit! What the yeah. fuck? Spectro, Necrom, Expecto Midichlorians, Nosferatu. What your spell's gonna do is unlock my car. <laughs> oh, <thanks>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I, 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 I did have some issues here and there, but they weren't anything to really throw me off that much. Like I said, I thought that that beginning of the third act where it slows down, maybe it slows down a little bit too much uh considering the you know the way the energy is flowing in the film but it's not that bad and it's such an emotional moment that you know i mean hell i hear Corey sobbing from three rows back so you know (laughs) don't say you weren't you know you were no no look i was not i was two seats down from (laughs) you uh but yeah it was just that loud i don't know Uh, but uh and there's one issue that happens it's a big change from the book that we would like wasn't until talking about it after so was like was that just me that didn't happen it's in the book that, right that throws you way that's, off it that's, is a, huge. that's yeah. a thing like, that that's about the relationship between harry and and severus that you're like wait what, what did they just say what i think they said it was it's like did they just not say what i think they just right didn't they're say. like and i'm glad throw- i turned to you leon and i asked you about it because i was like Somebody not reading those books. Is this what happened? And, well, I was, and you I was were so you confused. Said something to me too, because yeah. I was sitting there confused. I, I'm that's like, the okay. only one of the books I've only read once so far, and so I'm like, wow, I don't remember, but I feel like I would have remembered some insinuation like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> heavy bomb to even kind of half acidly drop. So I don't know how I feel about drop that. Acidly. Uh, drop acidly, <laughs> but uh, I, I still I thoroughly enjoyed this. I mean, I was a little misty as well. I mean, there are scenes you can't help be if you've been watching this whole series and you really like these characters. Uh, so I give it a, a full price. Uh, I wish it had been just that much better, but l- like I said, I-, I can't help but feel like there was stuff cut out of this intentionally because they know they'll like, make that much more money two years from now selling an ex- super expanded director's cut with those scenes. As well as they should, because you know that would help me to understand a little bit more. And, and instead of looking at Leon, going, "What the fuck? Just th- what they just say?" <laughs> <laughs> Not just because uh, of the British accents. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but you know th- this this movie. Uh, I didn't go in wanting to hate it. I'm like anybody else. I want to see a good movie. Sure. And I have to say, this movie did deliver. Like I said, I don't even think you have to watch the one before it to, to enjoy it as, as you much keep as, saying. as much. And I will keep saying that, please. Because, you know, but the thing is, it told its story, it did it at a great pace. And I got all the visuals that I always wanted to see in one of these films. And I. I got really great directing. I have to hand it to David Yates. It's like, wow, I don't know what you did before if you were sleepwalking through it or what, but hey, you know what? You must have listened to that review I did and you must have took notes because, wow, <laughs> yes. did you, wow. I'm pretty did, sure that's did, what happened. I'm, I'm, sure, sure, I'm, 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 I'm almost sure of it. I'm going to write the, the movie company. Tonight. But uh, <laughs> I was like, wow, somebody, totally somebody finally listened to me. Uh, you know what? They, they corrected everything. They, they, they pretty much corrected everything that I disliked about it and they made a thoroughly enjoyable movie to where I even like your main hero for once. And uh, that's a that's a big leap. I'm going to give it a uh, full price, a full price, definitely. I, and I think fans of this series are gonna you're gonna, you're gonna be fucking wet in your pants to, uh, when you see it. You're, yeah, it's gonna be a huge Harry Potter orgy. This that night you're in the theater, and it's gonna be all worth it. And, and I say congratulations. But thank God this fucking series is over, so I never have to talk about it again. Only I can live forever. <laughs> <laughs>